into the ring. Accompanied by the game Triple H. From the Netherlands, the Archangel of Lucifer. I'd have to think that Luke Harper's appearance alone gives him the mental advantage heading into any contest. Yeah, he certainly does have a strange aura, doesn't he? After that, you're not seeing stars, you're looking at constellations. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Big kick echoing around the arena. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Luke Harper gets out of that one. Nice moves. Could very well be the end of it right there. Well, going to the top, high risk. He's having a. Oh my gosh! A tremendous move. Tremendous action in this match. This is serious gut check time. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Watch out. What strength. Woo, a little showboating going on here. Luke Harper stands 6 foot 5 and 275 pounds. His eerie demeanor aside, Luke Harper's strength, quickness, and brutality is something that's very difficult to go up against. And he doesn't waste any time. Luke Harper goes right after his opponent. It's downright scary. Just watching it again. Five. And we're going back between the ropes. Six. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This, this one could end in a count out. This is going to return to the ring. Oh, 
Oh, that might be it right there. Reversal. Reversed by Archangel. Yep, there's the reversal by Luke Harper. And a boot to the gut. Oh, gosh, there's no telling how much damage that did. Elbow drop. And now Luke Harper sways the match his way here. Ooh, that big right hand driven right into the rib cage. Ooh, what a vicious backbreaker. Using that weight to his advantage. And once again, Archangel's going up. And we've come to yet another turning point in this match. He's enjoying this! Archangel! And Archangel gets all of it. And will this be it? Two! Three! Archangel's done it. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. Let's go to the highlights here. can pick out highlights from that match. The whole match was highlights. Here is your winner, the Archangel of Lucifer. He gets a big victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. The man standing before you stands over seven feet tall and weighs more than 500 pounds. He's a walking weapon of mass destruction. He plants him down with authority. Good God! Is he pressing a secret button to move that fast? I mean, those kicks won't give you a good feeling. I can promise you that. And that one hit with the force of a big rig. And what a hard knockdown, big time impact. Three. A big collision with that restraining wall. And down they go. What an impact. Look out. Oh man, what a headbutt. There was no place to go. What a fierce kick. He's still not through. And there's that modified judo throw, the STO. Can he capitalize? Oh, look at the emotion. Big Show escapes that one. Yeah, cat like witness out of the world's largest athlete. There's a line I never thought I'd say. Reverse. What a boot! And he's toast! <laughs>
He's going to the top rope. Look how slow. Uh oh. Oh man, right now he's just saying, I can do whatever I want to you, and there's nothing you can do about it. He's gonna take another chance. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Heads up! Look out! Headbutt! the leg. Oh, what a painful submission. This is such a painful hold. Uh-oh. Now you've done it. You made Big Show mad. Talk about a car crash. No, not again. You hear how his leg connected? Watch out! He just powered him up. Oh, the strength. And he's heading back in. Hey, what's that? Well, Big Show has a dazzling array of moves in his arsenal, Cole. But the one that I think should inspire the most fear is his elbow drop. If Show has the time to hoist himself up onto the ropes, Three. the leverage he can get behind that move is absolutely unfair. Four. Man, it looks like a car wreck out there. Five. Six. And he gets back in. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Big right hand. What's the Big Show have to do to get back into this one, King? I mean, this guy's agile and intelligent. If his opponent makes a mistake, you can almost guarantee he'll figure out a way to capitalize on it. And here we see it from this angle. There's the cover. Can he do it? Archangel's done it. Well, let's take a look at some of those highlights. here. your winner, the Archangel of Lucifer. An emotional victory here tonight. Man, oh man, what a battle.
Calabria, Italy, weighing 233 pounds, Santino Manella. the Milan Miracle, Santino won the Intercontinental Championship during his WWE debut. He also enjoyed reigns as a WWE Tag Team and United States Champion. Bam! What a vicious shot with the knee. And did you hear the impact on that kick? to good use. He's in big trouble. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Look out! Headbutt! Look out! Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Judo throw the STO. Can he capitalize? He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. And he reversed it. Good move there. Ouch. You hear how his leg connected? Oh, wow. The headbutt. And he gets leveled. him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. Whoa! He's measuring. What a maneuver. Offense doesn't get much simpler than that. He's looking at it. We know what this is. The three. And will this be it? Two. Three. Our change has done it. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. Take a look at some of those highlights. Here is your winner. The
approaching the ring, weighing 323 pounds, King! Who could ever forget Kane's debut at Bad Blood 1997 when he literally tore the door off Hell in a Cell to get at his brother, The Undertaker. Yeah, and since that time, he's left an impressive path of destruction in his wake. And that one hurt his hand. Ow! Talk about meeting of the minds. He's referee barely had time to begin a count there. It'll be interesting to see who becomes the alpha male early in the contest. He sends his opponents flying to the outside. He rolled the dice. And did it pay off or what? He was one step ahead on that one. Kane brings a new meaning to the phrase manhandling. Three. Nice reversal there. Oh, those are some big shots for Kane. Big Red Machine showing a frightening amount of resiliency. And he's forced back in the ring. And he's heading back in. Whoa. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. What can Kane do to win this one, Kane? After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Three. He's got him hooked. And we're going back between the ropes. You know, it's difficult to think of any surefire way to be successful against Kane because he's as tough as they come. But if there's anything I'd tell one of his opponents, it's use your speed. Be quick, because that's one thing that the big red monster is not. You're not going to outmuscle him, so you better try to outhustle him. He gets out of trouble there. He got him! Ah! What a move! Ah, Kane is a big, strong creature, Cole. Not the man you'd want to get into a grapple battle with. I'd say stick, move, and keep the devil's favorite demon grasping at air. We know what this is. That's it. He's out. And this has got to be it. Two. Three. That's it. The match is over. Let's go to the highlights here. Take a look at some of those highlights. Here is your winner, the Archangel of Lucifer. He gets a big victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match.